And boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Heim for Classic, and welcome to Benchart. So for today, what I do have in it is Series M4, a game developed by Crow Team, and it is using their Series Engine, which is now 2017. Alright, so Series... Uh, I mean, Crow Team was the developers behind all the Series Sums, and also a very interesting puzzle game, which if you did enjoy Portal, you should really try, which is the Tavos Principle. It is way more serious, but the type of puzzles are kind of similar to Portal. At first I thought that it was kind of they trying to rip off Portal, but after then the experience was really great. But we are here to talk a little bit about uh, how this game performs, how Series M4 performs on the Intel HD 620. And while I'm running the game with the absolutely minimum settings on the GPU speed, so as you can see, despite I put the game on lowest, I was able to reduce even further Right, all the graphical options to try to achieve as maximum frame rate as possible. So looking to the minimum requirements, this game uh, requires a 4 core CPU, 8 gigs of RAM, and since we are using an Intel HD graphic card, you will need more probably than 8 gigs because of the shared memory. And for the graphic card, there is no specification in here for any Intel GPU, but we can see that this game... Uh, kind of requires a strong graphic card, so we could play. So anyway, let's try and see what are the results that I gathered. So this game have a built-in benchmark tool. I did use the Viva La Resistance um, test throughout five minutes. So the test, it isn't exactly the same thing, but the scenario and the enemies are mostly the same. So with the lowest settings, I got an average of 34 frames per second with 1% low of 18 but uh, reducing every step to minimum it did grant me a small boost of 37 frames per second with the 1% low of 22 so this game it is the kind of fast paced game where uh, you would want to have a fast frame rate something like 50 frames per second 60 frames per second but playing this game on an Intel HG 620 it is already a miracle since uh, Series M uh, for it isn't really considered to be an optimized game and it is far away from the minimum requirements there is no specification anywhere claiming that you can run this on with an Intel GPU but the reality it is you can all right you can do it you can use the minimum settings or the lowest settings and you can enjoy the game with a frame rate mostly above 30 frames per second but honestly when there is a lot of enemies on screen and shooting and particles everywhere what you can expect is the frame rate to drop down below 30 frames per second but yes i know that for most of you people most of you guys that play with intel hds graphic cards going under 30 frames per second doesn't really scare you at all so yeah i guess it is playable for all of you but now let's talk a little bit about series sum 4 and is this a good game or not because on metacritic the score haven't been really well and i've seen some complaints on youtube about uh, this game comparing to the predecessor so what can i say Series some 4, it doesn't look to be the Series some game that we want. So, after Series some 3, people weren't really pissed about the direction of the game, but people were mostly pissed about the art style, because Series some 1 and the second encounter, it was mostly on Egypt. Series some 2, it was a little bit more cartoonish, despite the core. And Series some 3, it was... Well, the art style did change a lot, all right, and it left it, it left a lot of people unsatisfied. But still, it was there was there a balance between the Series Sum first encounter and second encounter and the environments of Series Sum three. Well, Series Sum four, pretty much, and most of the environments of this game that I've checked so far. Uh, even despite I'm not playing these three levels, there is a benchmark tool that allows you to select multiple levels. What I've seen so far is that most of the environments are just... Well, this type of city environment or most closed or small environment. So it, it feels like an arena shooter where you are trapped between buildings. All right? This is something very different than... Uh, w what was done with Series some first encounter and second encounter? Yes, when we when we were inside the pyramids, it was a boxed environment, 
but on many levels we have kind of uh, open environment and multiple enemies, which in this game it is not really mostly the case. So it's not really happening that often because you will feel that most of the game will be inside these boxed environments. So, and also there is tons of cutscenes over here and a lot of uh, try hard jokes. I'm saying this because the jokes in this game. I, I don't know, it might be funny to some people, uh, I find them funny, but it is not really good jokes, alright, the, the jokes on this game, it isn't really that great, and technology wise, again, this feels like Series Sum 3, alright, despite this engine behind this, it is Series Sum engine 2017, uh, visually, in my opinion, the game looks like uh, Series Sum 3, but with much more detail into the levels as expected, but the technology pretty much looks the same. Not to mention that uh, it is kind of easy to see that these guys recycled a lot, but really a lot of assets from the Tavos Principle. Usually for most games, uh, we don't really care about that, but uh, it is so evident when you start the game there is some sort of a uh, a small garden and you can clearly see that the environment it is pretty much the same as most of the puzzles of the Tavos Principle. So it is shocking, it is like you are you just installed the Tavos Principle and you install the kind of a DLC from Series Sum that allows you to shoot um, enemies on the gardens of the Tavos Principle. So that is that. I'm, for the most part this is this, this doesn't really concern me, you know. Uh, recycling assets, it is something normal. Uh, we can see that uh, a lot of developers recycle, for example, animations. That is pretty normal. That is not exactly what does shock me. But what it does shock me is that this game it is being released in 2020, uh, while Series M3 was released nine years ago, and the technology looks the same, uh, which, well, it is not really a great way to describe it. And also, we are seeing recycling assets from the Talos Principle. And if you go to ch and if you go and check it out, the Talos Principle release date, which is exactly what I'm doing in here while I speak to you, because when I speak about games, I just let it go. So the Talos Principle was released in December 2014. So it's pretty much a you know a six-year-old game, and they are recycling assets from it. So it feels like Crow Team just stopped in time, and that's really what gets me worried about. Serious Sum elements are here, alright, so if you did, if you are a fan of Serious Sum, and if you did enjoy Serious Sum 3, you will enjoy Serious Sum 4, possibly you won't be as much satisfied as it was with Serious Sum 3, alright, but Serious Sum 4, for me, it is the worst Serious Sum until today, but it's not possibly as worse as critics have been saying on YouTube. Alright, it is not that bad. I haven't found really any issue with the game so far. It behaves like a regular series sum. Some people are complaining about optimization. Yes, the game it is very demanding, so just select the graphics according to the frame rate that you want. The game will look visually nice, pretty much whatever the setting you go with, aside from water like I told you. But like I, like I did show you, I'm using the low textures, and honestly, the low textures looks pretty great anyway. So, just select the settings accordingly. And I guess that's that. I just think that the game it is costing 40 bucks. I think it's a nice price indeed. It is not a full AAA price. But possibly giving the, you know, the reviews that have been out uh, talking about this game and a lot of people unsatisfied with the art design and the route they are taking the game possibly 40 bucks it is a little bit too much possibly 30 bucks would be the recommended price for this game or just buy it on sale i'm not saying that this game doesn't worth 40 bucks but honestly probably not all right it is something that you finish in 10 hours and you can play cooperative if you want which is a, a good thing but unless you really enjoy a lot series some um, this game might not be for you. And comparing to the other titles, this is the worst, in my opinion, that I have tried alongside with Series M2. I'm not talking about the second encounter, I'm talking about Series M2.
Alright, so guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Series M4. This is just my own opinion, and I'm no reviewer. So, take this as my own opinion only. Um, and that's it, guys. So, thank you much for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. anomaly common in the lower species a primitive belief that somehow against all now that's what i call raising the roof thank you my friend uh, i think we have been fighting every day since the city was invaded we massimo massimo no he he is dead. Sorry. I saw him fight. He was a real badass. But how... how can he be dead? He is Massimo Murena. The hero of the Italian resistance. The spirit of Roma. Is that really how his story ends? It does not seem right. <sighs> we never get to retire, do we? What's your name? Paolo. Nope. Your name is Massimo Morena. It is? Yep, that's you. Massimo Morena. Hero of the Italian Resistance. Got it? But... Who died? Some guy called Paolo. Just a brave, ordinary Roman. But Massimo Morena will take revenge, won't he? I... Uh... <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. Take this, my friend. A gift from Massimo Murena.